Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on one SQL entry question. The question is here, how many ways to get EMP details of department wise IHL? So I want to know department wise IHL along with employee details. So first I will show my table. This is my EMP table which contains 5 columns. So department, if you see the department here, there are 3 departments, HR, Finance and IT departments. So I want to know department wise IS salary. Generally, if you want to get the department wise IS salary, we can use directly aggregate function max sal and DEPT. So you can use a group by group by DEPT. So this will get department wise IS salary. Now I want to know employee details also. So this is just max salary department wise max salary but I want to get details also. So how many ways to get the department wise IS salary with details. So there are four ways to get four ways to get the department wide IS salary. So first method is by writing the non-correlated subquery. By writing the non-correlated subquery. So here I am writing non correlated subquery or you can just select star from star from emp my table name where sal in sal in in the subquery i am writing select max of sal so i want to get my department department wise highest salary so max aggregate function will get department wise highest salary from EMP group by DGPT. This is the first method. This is the first way to get the department wide highest salary along with the details. I am executing this. See, earlier when you execute the query, we got only salary max salary and department. Now you can also get the details of the employees who received the IJS salary in which department. This is the first way by writing the correlated subquery. So here I am writing EMP where so here I am giving one alias name E. Sal equal to cell equal to so in the subquery i am writing select max of cell max of cell from emp again so here i am giving alias name e1 e1 where so e1 dot dept is equal to I am e, e dot DGPT. This is correlated subquery. Yeah, you see that same employees Jane Smith, Emily Davis, and Matthew Anderson. Even if you run the first non correlated subquery, you will get the Jane Smith, Emily Davis, Matthew Anderson. Next, third way is to write a subquery with join. Subquery with join. So here I am using the join. In the subquery I am writing select DGPT, comma max of cell max of cell. I am giving alias name as Some name I am given max cell from EMP. So since we are using the aggregate function in the select list, we it is obvious to use group by class, group by DGPT, group by DGPT. So I am giving this some derived column name as 
derived column name is E1. So in on class, I am joining E dot DEPT equal to E1 dot DEPT in on class. So up to this one, one table, the entire subquery is in one table. Considering this whole subquery as a derived table name. So in on class, I am joining E dot department with E1 dot department. You can also add one more condition and e dot cell e dot cell which is equal to e1 dot max underscore cell this is the query so here i am using the join i and, and also i am using the sub query so if you do this one you can get the same output same three employees matthew anderson emily davis and gia smith highest salary employees in their respective departments so this is the third method and the last method is we can use using cte with rank row number cte with rank function with i am giving some name cte name rank cell so as in the subquery I am writing select star comma row number over over so here we can use partition by and department column partition by DEPT and order by salary descending order by sal DESC so I am giving some alias name name, name RN from table name EMP. So now I am selecting this CTE now. Select CTE name is ranked cell is my CTE name. R R select star from ranked cell where I am using RN equal to 1. This is how you know to get the, these are the four methods to get the department with the employee details of the department wise highest cell. First by using non-correlated subquery, correlated subquery, subquery with join and CTE with rank function. So thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.